Have you ever wondered what the engine room looks like in small ships? Here's a swift scan into what the engine room is, how small the machineries and equipment it comprises, and why those machineries were fitted. My name is Georgia Kyver, a marine engineer, and I'm here to give you a tour in the engine room. The ship I am sailing is a CO2 gas carrier with a length overall of 82.5 meters and a gross tonnage of 2506. It's basically small. Expect that the engine room and its machineries are far smaller compared to the large ships you usually encounter. Our engine room is manned by two personnel, namely the chief engineer and the third engineer. In large ships, they have 6 to 10 engine crew. Welcome to the engine room. As we enter, we can already see the engine control space. It is an open space and not air-conditioned. Unlike in those large ships, they have this air-conditioned engine control room to protect the electrical and electronic devices from overheating. Here we don't have to worry about overheating since this ship trades only in the northern part of Europe, which is normally cold most of the time. This is the control panel. It contains the controls for the auxiliary engine and other machineries. We do our recordings and paperwork on this table, and on that other table right there is supposed to be having a computer, but I brought it to my cabin since I am the only one using it. This one is the workshop. It contains the hand tools, power tools and equipment, and spare parts. Guess what's this? A boiler. Yes, it's small. In other ships, it is three to six times larger in capacity and size. A boiler is used to convert water into steam for heating purposes. Let's go down. There's more in the lower platform. The freshwater UV filter that purifies in the freshwater hydrofoil pump that supplies water going to the accommodation. This is the main engine control panel. As the name suggests, it has the controls for main engine. The main engine, which is known as the heart of the ship, it supplies propulsion power or turns the ship propeller to move through the water. In large ships, it is two to five times bigger in size and power, and sometimes they have two sets of this. And there I am, playing around for its size reference. <laughs> this one's the oily water separator. It separates the oil from water coming from the bilges. The water is then discharged overboard. The purifier. It is used to purify the oil. This is for marine gas oil and it is two to four times larger in size and capacity. And they have three to five sets of this for different types of oil in larger ships. Here we only have one set and it is cute. Two sets of main air compressor. It is used to compress the air to a desired pressure and stored in the air reservoir. The compressor is then used, for example, in main engine starting. This one is a service air compressor. Same function, it compresses the air. I only turn this on when I need it, for example, for cleaning. Above is the general service pump for seawater supply and fire line. Below is the ballast pump for ballasting to correct the listing of the ship. There's more, let's go! Here with me is the auxiliary engine or the alternator. It converts mechanical energy into electricity. In larger ships, it is two to three times bigger in size and capacity, and they have two to three sets of this. Here we only have one set, although we also have shaft generator and emergency generator. This one is the main engine lube oil auto filter, and the other is the lube oil cooler. They do their respective job before recirculating the oil back to the main engine. The sewage treatment plant. It grinds and treats the dirt coming from the toilets before discharge overboard. Here is the emergency escape route. It is used as an escape in the event of emergency, for example, fire in the engine room. This is the controlled pitch propeller local control panel. It is used to control the propeller pitch for a desired ship speed. Let's go up again and check the steering gear room. The steering gear is the equipment provided on ships to turn the ship to the left or the port side and right or the starboard side. I want to show you this equipment but it's outside the engine room. The emergency generator. It supplies electricity to essential loads during the event of blackout. So that's it for this video. Engine room in smaller vessels. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something, and if you want more seafarer content, just let me know.